Good morning, everybody. It's been and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, a bunch of people died, but none of them were main characters, so it doesn't really matter. In this episode, we're going to continue on with the main adventure, and hopefully no main characters will die. Hopefully. So, yeah. The last episode was kind of Akotako, but uh, it was a side thing, so who really cares? And before we get into this new chapter, we got ourselves some new uh, Barak things, I see. Let's see what good old Mr. Obama has for us today. We got new events... A you know, very slow walking, uh, Callum, I think. Uh, hello, Robin. It's a fine morning, isn't it? Uh, let's listen. In. Oh, wait, no, it's Frederick. I took it upon myself to say a bit. Just clear away a bit of gravel here. Safety first, okay? Inside of the stinking, uh, Christmas. Why is there a Christmas tree in there? I think that's new. It's because, like, I'm playing after December and January. I don't know, but whatever. What else we got? I'm on top form today. Raise her defense and resistance just by coming in here, okay. Uh, we got Callum this time. Oh, hidden in plain sight, just like someone I know. Yourself. Got Katarina's Bolt. I know Katarina because of Fire Emblem Heroes. She's a Thunder Mage of some kind, but that might be good for Robin, actually. Hmm. Uh, we got Krom and Lissa talking to each other. Hey, Krom, how come you're in such a great mood? New haircut? Oh, I'm just having a regular day. You're the one who looks happy. And their relationship improved. That's cool. I don't usually pair the two of them up, so it's cool that I get to get extra relationship status with them without even really trying. And last but not least, we got ourselves Callum again. Okay. I've been practicing my war cry to get me noticed. I scared away two birds already. 22 experience. Okay, that was great. Sorry if I seem a bit more out of it than usual. It's been a while since I recorded. I was actually hoping this entire LP would be recorded before the winter break ended, like I said a million times already, but today's the last day of the winter break, and we're, like, Barely 50% done with the game, so that's probably not going to happen. Oh, uh, well. I guess I could just take it at my own pace, and maybe the final product will be better because of that. Uh, I'm going to have a fun time editing, though, after this, that's for sure. Before we do that, how about we go to Robin's inventory? I wanted to get Katarina's Bolt. We'll take that. Uh, that's a new Thunder thingy. Not sure if it'll be much better. Actually, it looks a lot better, somewhat. And we'll keep it with us. For now, let's go into Chapter 8, Border Sands. Or, as it's known by its other title, Chapter 8, The Grim Leal. I don't know why every stinking chapter in this game is... Lou, could you not scratch the stinking bed, please? Okay, thank you. <sighs> I'd like to believe it's our cunning that got us this far without being spotted. But we've seen far too little of the Plesian Guard. Where are they? Whatever trap that Grangle has planned, he is in no hurry to spring it. My lord. My lord. Called it. Our scouts report some manner of engagement downfield. Right. Get everyone ready to move. Right. These desert sands are certain to bog down our units, my lord. Only mages and flyers will likely be able to proceed unhindered. Mm. Good point. I'll keep it in mind. Robin, let's discuss strategy. Giving you a bit of a warning before the chapter starts. You're going to want to get some flyers and mages. So for that, we got Cordelia and Sumia with us. Alright, you're off to a good start. Uh, vague stall. Do the horses get slowed down in the sand? I would assume so, but they're still horse riders, so... I don't know. Do we want to bring Muriel back? Nah, not really. Might be a good time to bring Rickon back, though. Gaius, perhaps? Pain. Uh, I think we're going to take a risk and just go with the team I have. I kind of like uh, what we've been going with here, so select units... Uh, do you want to switch anyone around? Probably not. Well, actually, considering we have such a limited movement in this area. Oh, yeah. Horses are very slow here. Oh, God, Frederick. I'm so sorry. We definitely want to keep Frederick because he's Frederick. But I'm going to get Sully out of here, actually, and switch to Rickon. Um, I guess that's it. It would be a good time to get rid of Frederick, but... I don't know. Maybe by pairing him up with someone who isn't a horse rider will just make it a bit easier for him? We'll see. So, what do we want to do now? Oh, wow, everyone's moving is really sinking slow for Krom. That is especially bad for this chapter. We'll get to that in a bit. I don't even know what I want to do, but... I guess we'll just stick with us for now and hope for the best. Alla Pokemon Coliseum. Have... have I lost him? Wait! 
Wait, I say, why are you not comprehending me one? Get away! Everyone just leave me alone! Oi. Please, be calm and keeping down of the voice. You give away position very bad. <laughs> my throat is dry, my shoes are full of sand, and some big weirdo's trying to kill me! Good grieving. You break Gregor's heart, oi. Why are you treated like villain? <sighs> you there, fiend, keep your hands off that maiden. Who is Fiend? You mean Grego? No, friend, you have a wrong idea. Hey. Yeah, right, creep. What? This day has been nothing but insults and punches to groin. And for overdoing good deed. Listen, friend, Gregor only want to. <laughs> oh, that's a dude? Okay. Gotcha, you slippery scamp! Prepare for a dose of Grima's wrath! Boy, this is most terrible. Do you see now? They make with the catching of us. Hmm? Why are you all after that girl? Nonsense. All? What is this all? Gregor is not one of all. Look close. Maybe you not see from so far. Gregor have innocent baby face. Hmm. Well. Yeah, not sure innocent baby is how I describe it. Eh? Ugh, never be minding. Gregor is not enemy. You must believe. Right. This is making my head hurt. We'll sort him out later. Right now, we need to protect the girl. You're going to help me? Yes. We'll do everything in our power to keep you safe. Just hold on until we reach you, and we'll drive them off. Victory, rout the enemy. So we got two new allies and two other objectives aside, or three ever other objectives aside from just routing the enemy. We need to warn these villages of the danger, but who to send? Best if it's someone who could move swiftly through the sands. Okay, we can actually control these two. This is Gregor and Noe. I guess it would be best to just pair them up right off the bat so they are protected. And Noe is a incredibly beloved character within the Fire Emblem franchise and within this game in general, simply because of this. Get away from me! Yeah. What in blazes? The girl is a dragon! <laughs> By the gods, she's a manichetti. I never thought I'd see one. Perhaps she doesn't need our help so much as we could use hers. Yeah, I don't know who's going to be protecting who in this situation, but Noe is amazing. So we have a beast character and a dragon character now, and both of them are very, very awesome and beloved, and you could bet that Noe is going to be a mainstay on my team. Gregor, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll use him more this time around, but I've never really been a fan of him. We'll see, though. So, what do I want to do? The thing is that my flyers are the most fragile, typically. Cordelia's not too uh, fragile, though, so maybe we could send her out and start having them them doors close. Lock them doors and dim the lights down low. Uh, we got those two right there as well. I guess it'd be good to pair them up with someone strong in case they need to fight. So, how's about teaming... Hmm. I'm surprised that, like, mages... Well, Robin isn't fast, even though she's a mage. She's a tactician, so that doesn't count as a mage? What? It's lame, or whatever. Uh, but actually, Frederick's not too bad in the sand either. I thought he would be. It was just Sully. Okay. How about we pair Longku with Sumia? We'll pair... Hmm. How about... Rom with Cordelia? Robin with Frederick. Lissa with Payne. Gaius with Rick, and that's kind of just the throwaway group, but we'll see how that goes, I guess. So, uh, I guess we'll start over here. How much can you do? Oh, you can take him out. Very good. Let's get this started. I definitely want to be using these characters more, so it would be beneficial to just start using a bit of different pairings. Now that Robin and Krom are at max uh, status with their relationship, 
Uh, you could start sending Robin and Crom into different uh, pairings just so you could grow their status with other characters and get different boosts and whatnot. See if any of them are more beneficial. However, Robin and Crom have already reached a uh, top status, uh, have already reached S rank with each other, so they can't reach S rank with anyone else. So keep that in mind, like I said before. Uh, we'll switch to. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna use the advantage to go as far south as possible and then attack. Uh, look who's gonna be taking a lot of damage though if you just take him out right now. Or you dodge it, or not. Okay. Okay, now you get the critical. Wish you made a little bit quicker, Lanku, just saying. Uh, this killing line is getting a bit weak. I really don't want to lose that thing. It's such a good weapon. We will be able to buy them eventually, but not for a while. Uh, Rickon, we're going to take over here. And uh, not that much damage. Could Gaius attack for a bit more, but he's so frail. Okay, we'll just go over here then. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Okay, a little double duty right there. Guy's got a little weapon attribute uh, gain right there. No, Pain and Lissa are very slow, unfortunately. And that's our healer, so hmm, maybe it wasn't a good idea to put her up with Pain. Uh, let's go down here as well. And enemies, let's see the damage. Okay, he's attacking from a distance, so at least we can counterattack. Well, we'll be able to kind of check no matter what, though, so it's fine. Next, we got this dude. Hopefully, we'll, feel it. we'll be able to finish him off. Thank you for dodging. And we're good. Get the experience. He gets another level up. So, something that's sort of been keeping me distracted from recording. Do I look taller? I hope so. Something that's kind of kept me... Not really distracted from recording, but, like, another thing I've been up to. I didn't get the things I wanted to get done during this winter break. I was actually hoping to get all of the Code of Princess bonus videos released during this break. Um, but that all requires special guests, so I would have had to have planned that, and I haven't, unfortunately, just because I've been really bad with that. But, um, I don't know, other things I did. I started streaming a whole lot. I started streaming all of the Kingdom Hearts cutscenes on Twitch, in case you weren't aware of that. Uh, just get myself prepared for Kingdom Hearts 3, because I, I've gone on this talk a million times before in the past. I wanted to play the Kingdom Hearts games for years, but I just never had the opportunity to. I never had the time to play all those sinking long games, and... The way I am with things, I'm just either all in or all out. I would want to play all of them at once, and like one after another, but I would just never have the time for that, so I just never played any of them. But I sort of had to just give in, and like, considering like a lot of the Kingdom Hearts games I feel like haven't aged well, um, especially gameplay-wise, I uh, sort of just allowed myself to uh, skip out on playing every single one of them, and I just sort of um, watched the cutscenes instead. But I definitely wanted to watch the... Oh, we got a rescue, which is nice. I definitely wanted to watch the... Or play Kingdom Hearts 3 when it, uh, as soon as it was released, because I do not trust the internet to not spoil that game for me the second it comes out, so... I sort of have to play it along with the rest of the world because of that. Okay, let's go with Samia. Uh, please dodge. Okay, only two damage, though. Not bad. Oh, she's getting a critical. That's nice. 36 damage. Always good to see. Uh, oh, one experience from a level up. It's always heartbreaking. Uh, oh, we both got a little uh, closer bonds right there. I'm surprised Rickon survived, actually. Uh, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go down here and switch to Gaius, just for the sake of keeping everyone alive. Uh, who do we got left? Noe and Pain. Pain can actually move a bit more this time. I guess it was just a matter of the hills, maybe? Uh, let's go over here. Stop. And then Noe. I uh, really don't want him to die though and there are so many enemies up here so how's about we just play defensive for a while and go over here switch to gregor uh to be like a meat shield and we'll be good if no or gregor die in this situation they'll still join us at the end of this so don't worry about that uh next we got a mage though so pain can't counter attack yeah i this, today was supposed to be the uh final kingdom Hearts stream where i streamed x black cover back cover and then uh the 2.8 thing, like basically anything else in 2.8 final chapter prologue. All the Kingdom Hearts games are such dumb names, but um, it was unfortunately canceled because Twitch has been going through some tech issues or technical difficulties where like none of the chat boxes are working. So at least it wasn't a problem on my end. I was actually kind of proud of myself with how I was able to keep up with this every single day. And uh, everyone seemed to really enjoy the streams. I actually reached Twitch affiliate status uh, throughout uh, the streaming process. So uh, that was really cool. I haven't set it up yet officially, but that might be something I might start doing in the future. Uh, let's see. Pain. I'm going to use Pain's limited movement to... Mm, do I... Well, you guys are all the way back here, so maybe... 
do that instead. Have Cordelia take him out. Okay, very good. One hit. Okay, she gets a level up. There. Now I must do it again. But yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Now I'm so happy that I was actually I got to be a part of it now and know what the, all the hubbub is about. It's something I wanted to experience for such a long time, but um, this wasn't how I wanted to experience it. But it's kind of my only option at this point. So I I did it, and I'm happy with what I experienced, and happy with uh, everyone else that joined me along the way. It's still really confusing, so I'll be thinking about it over and over as time goes on, just trying to piece everything together, what everything means, but I'm just glad to finally be part of it. I really hope Kingdom Hearts 3 just, like, blows everything out of the water, and, like, it's not just, like, a... I hope it meets everyone's expectations, basically. Like, with a series like this, I also sort of hope it's the ending of it all, just because, like, I know it's such a huge cash cow for Disney and Square Enix, so it probably won't be the end of it, but I've talked about before how I just prefer things to end properly and have the story be told and then just have that be the end of it. Oh, I should have switched to Rickon because god darn. Oh wait, no, maybe I could still salvage this. So if please take this, my family's treasure, I would offer more for only a good fellow with enough experience could use it to grow even stronger. A uh, Master Seal, oh, that's actually really useful. Uh, I was gonna use go into seals in this episode, but I realized I didn't have any Master Seals, so we only have the second seal. So a base class that has reached level 10 can use a Master Seal to change to a more advanced class. The class changes provide stat growth and allow your units to wield new weapons. Characters can only level up to level 20 before maxing out. That's the max level, actually. It's really weird. But when you use a seal, you get to keep your stats and like get reset to level 1. You'd think resetting to level 1 is really bad and you wouldn't want to do it, but you keep your stats, basically, and they just increase and allow you to keep on getting more levels. So you can sort of wait it out until you've uh, benefited everything from level 10, or you can just switch to new things right now and uh, start increasing those stats. I'm definitely not super knowledgeable in all the competitive ins and outs of it all, so maybe I wouldn't be uh, doing things properly if I, I don't know, if I use them at a certain point. Maybe people think I should save them or I should use them right away. Oh, I was really hoping to say pick a god and pray again. Oh, unfortunately not. But yeah, I will be going to seals uh, probably in this episode or the next one if I could get uh, the seal over to someone I want to upgrade. I was thinking a bit about it on what I want to do. So there's two different types of seals that you've seen. So we got a, a second seal before, and then the master seal is what we got right now. Master seal basically lets you upgrade to a greater version of the class you already are. So uh, for Kroms, he's a lord, so he could use the master seal to upgrade himself to a great lord. But if you use the second seal, you would change his class entirely. You can make him a cavalier a unit, so he can ride on a horse and gets like a lot more mobility. Or you can make him an archer, change his weapon altogether. It's really up to you what, how you want to build this. Not every character can become every single thing, except for Robin, I believe, since she's the protagonist and the Avatar character, so she should be able to become anything and everything. But yeah, you could just pick and decide what you want your characters to end up being. And another example of how I'm the worst Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem uh, player in the history of the universe. First time playing Fire Emblem Awakening, I did not use a single Master Seal or Second Seal. I kept everyone at their base class throughout the entire adventure. And it showed in those final worlds, even though I was playing on easy mode, it was really stinking difficult. So let's try to fix that this time around, huh? Let's see. Uh, got more dude over here. I like how we're getting rid of all these guys in counter attack. We haven't lost anyone yet, which is really surprising. I was also kind of worried about Gregor and Noe, but they seem to be doing a lot okay. Let's see, Kara, how many more you got? One more dude, but that's it. Uh, I guess we could keep Krom and Cordelia back here. Cordelia's a lot stronger than I thought she was. Uh, let's see, Krom's level 11. Cordelia's level 9. Let's go with her. Krom is already uh, good to go if I want to upgrade his class or change it. Uh, I'll be keeping those a secret for now, I suppose. Get that upgraded. Run down here. How many we got left in here? Can I look at the map? Maybe. How do I do this? Oh, there it is. We got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no one can reach this dude. Well, these guys can, so. I could just finish it off with Gaius if I want to. Yeah, sure. I actually kind of want to use guys this time around. Let's we'll see. Just give him a little more experience. And there you go. Level up for him. Sweet. He's like Peach. Is there fan art of guys dressed as Peach being like sweet? There probably is. 
If not, there definitely should be got one more house to go to. Thankfully, they don't attack the houses or like the villagers don't come out of the house and be like, hey, what's going on? I'm going to run towards the enemy. Oh, no, I got slaughtered. Uh, I think they're not having that again. Uh, run down here. Uh, let's switch to Noe just because I want to use her a bit more. Uh, Lissa's over here. Uh, can you diagonal heal Lissa? You can not. Rescue just moves allies to a different space. So that actually might be good for the sand area. I don't think you get to choose where the space is, though. So we're just gonna keep you here. Could Lissa use heal? No, it has to be right in front. That's unfortunate. And then we'll just head down here. Switch to Long Ku. Uh, they're both kind of low on HP. Uh, I don't want to risk it. We'll stay back and be safe. Okay, Frederick is just going to slaughter everyone, because that's what he does best. Let's do that, and that. Uh, what level is he at right now? He's probably like, crazy high right now. No, he's at level 6 because I tend to keep him in the back, because he's so overpowered that like he doesn't need the level ups. So he still has a way to go before we actually start upgrading him. Get these guys over here. Huh. I don't want to fight the boss right now. We still need to talk to the other team. How about you guys go around and try to get to them, but these guys are going to be guarding it. Uh, let's go over here. Switch to Gregor. I just met her. Uh, we'll get pain now. I wish you could heal the person in your unit. I wish Lissa could heal pain right now, but you can't. Uh, we'll see what happens with I just, I don't want this dude to, oh, he can't even do that. Okay, that makes it a bit easier. I just didn't want to run up and be like, oh, hey, I'm going to end the battle because Frederick is going to murder you in one hit. And switch to Rickon just so we can move a bit more and enemy phase. Okay. We've got Noe and Gregor. Hey, you're doing okay. Get more experience. And uh, it's from a distance. I think Noe can hit enemies from a distance. She can't start an attack from a distance, but she can repel. She can counterattack in a distance. I don't know which I was going to say at a distance, but whatever. Uh, let's check her. Uh, what do we got? Skills. Grants. Hit avoidance. Standard, I don't know. Okay, maybe not yet. but Or maybe I'm just thinking of Fire Emblem Heroes because she's one of my char main characters I use in that game. Huh. What do I want to do? Pain could take this guy out. We're just going to do that. Oh wait, did that say he's gonna drop a killing edge? Heck yes! I'm gonna give that to Long Ku. We're gonna get rid of him. And yes, we got a killing edge with 29 hit points. Awesome. Uh, let's go over. Where is Long Ku anyway? Oh, he's right here. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Let's go around over here. Wait a bit. Noe can. You... Oh, Gregor can finish this guy off. Noe can't. I thought she could. Uh, is that I don't want to be giving all this experience to Gregor. No, he's level 3. Gregor's already 10. Huh. And you can take him out in one hit. That's kind of unfortunate. I want to know how to get the experience. I guess I could at least get her to do a bit of damage and get some experience, but not really the amount that I wanted. Maybe she'll surprise me with a critical hit. Who knows? Uh, not quite. Not quite. Okay. Uh, really close to a level up, but uh, unfortunately we're going to have to finish it off with uh, Cordelia. And we're good. Now I believe that leaves only the boss. It's a pretty easy chapter, all things considered. I'm really surprised nobody died. Uh, we can't do anything with them yet. We can pick up this item. Huh? Did somebody lose this? That is so irresponsible. It's a glass bow. Uh, you can see it is only has three hit points. Powerful, but quick to break. Yeah, so it's really powerful, but it breaks in three turns. I don't really use them. And this right now, switch over to us. Visit this town and get one more reward. Oh, thank the gods. Thank the gods. Uh, this make up for my tra travesty that was the previous episode. We got a second seal this time around. This also introduces you to second seals. Base class level 10 or advanced class can use a second seal. So basically, if you want to just get to this other thing right away, like if you want to upgrade Krom to Great Lord, and then he'll be a level 1 Great Lord, and then you just use the second seal, and then he'll be able to use this. He doesn't have to get to level 10. Uh, you can change it to a different class entirely. So let's you try various classes while keeping all your unit skills intact. 
Okay, that's really cool. Hopefully I don't mess anything up along the way with this. I really have I really hate to ruin my save because I think you could buy seals later on in the game, but it's not for a while, so really rather not mess this up. Uh pain Ooh, go down to one HP. Uh I have no problems with pain finishing him off. It's level six, level uh she's level ten, so maybe we'll just leave it as Frederick. Okay, why not? Haha! -ha, you dare defy Grima, god of annihilation! I just completely gave up on this guy's voice. Okay, sure. Frederick, do your thing. Pick a god and pray. Yes, he said the thing! That was so great! Pick a god and pray! At first, like, in the back of my head, I was like, uh, maybe I should have had pain attack versus so she could get experience, but nah. We got the Frederick line, so it's okay. Master Grima, my life force is yours. Oh, Frederick, you're the stinking best. And we got an energy drop, whatever that does. And Gregor and Noe were the MVPs. I wasn't expecting that, but okay. <laughs> this is just the worst day ever. <laughs> oh, now we want you not to make with the crying of tears. The evil people are now dead people. This is good, no? <laughs> you're, you're right. Thank you. And I'm sorry I was so mean to you earlier. I just get nervous around people who are outside my age group. What? Your age group? Ah! Gregor must much closer to your age than the others here. Listen. Um, Gregor, was it? Gregor, do you mind looking after her? We need to press on. Hmm. Gregor is mercenary, yes? Maybe you are your Gregor instead. True, Gregor just finished killing former employers, but still very reliable. So long as you not try to hurt little girl, Gregor will not hurt you. Also, Gregor needs steady income. Many angry former employers. Really? You're a cell sword. <laughs> yes, very swell sword. Cost performance very high. You have Gregor's word. Right. Why not? You're hired. <gasps> but what about me? I won't go back to that auction block. Wait, you've been sold? Like a... like a slave? <sighs> to men more despicable than you could possibly imagine. They made me transform for them. They drank and laughed and called out tricks. <sighs> what kind of scumbags buy and sell a little girl? Even if she can turn into a dragon. You know, she may be little, milady, but not nearly as young as you might think. Manichetes live for a very long time. Really? How old are you? Huh? Oh, I don't know. A thousand something? But look, no wrinkles! Well, the dragonkin are said to be more resilient than men. Noe would make a strong ally. Besides, we cannot risk her falling back into the hands of the Grimleel. Huh? Beg pardon, but who are the Grimleel? Ah. Followers of the fell dragon Grima. The self-same dragon that first Exalt defeated a thousand years ago. Even today, there are some who yearn for the fiend's return. I see. Listen. Shall we get some rest? We're almost to the Plegian capital. We'll need all of our strength soon enough. We got two more powerful allies with us, but we still have an objective to accomplish. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we're going to keep on pressing forward towards the Plesian capital. This has been Ed and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.